Okay, this is our first example problem in linear transformations. We're going to linear transform uh, the vector negative 3, 1, 4, and we're going to bring it through S, and this is the definition of S as a linear transformation. What we want to do is show sort of the two ways of applying this particular kind of transformation, which takes a 3 vector into a 4 vector. Okay, the first way is directly. We're just going to calculate S of negative 3, 1, 4. And in order to do that, we're just going to plug it directly in. So that means the top row is going to become 3 times negative 3 minus 2 times 1 plus 5 times 4. The middle row is going to become negative 3 plus 1 plus 4. The third row is going to become 9 times negative 3 minus 2 times 1 plus 5 times 4. And the bottom row is just going to be 4 times 1. And so when we calculate this, by doing all of those expansions and collections, we're going to get 9, 2, negative 9, and 4. And so that's the solution to the linear transformation of this particular vector through S. Now let's do it a second way. What we're going to do is do it via matrix multiplication because the second way of doing this is to really treat it as uh, S times X is the same as some matrix A times X. And so let's find that matrix A and then show that they're the same. So a would then be equal to, because if we sort of undo the multiplication, this would be 3, negative 2, 5, uh, 1, 1, 1, 9, negative 2, 5, and 0, 4, 0. So there's the matrix A that basically does the same thing, matrix multiplication by A of any 3-row uh, vector will transform it into a four-row vector that performs the same transformation as this. So there's our matrix A, so our second way of computing S of negative 3, 1, 4 is basically to do the following. It's to take this matrix, 3, negative 2, 5, 1, 1, 1, 9, negative 2, 5, and 0, 4, 0, and to multiply that by negative 3, 1, 4. And you can see this product will produce the same thing. Uh, 3 times negative 3 is negative 9, negative 2 times 1 is negative 2, that's negative 11, uh, and 5 times 4 is 20, so negative 11 plus 20 is 9. And there it is, it produces the first element. It will produce all of them. Oops, negative 9 and 4. So you can see that's the second way to compute uh, the linear transformation of S. Anytime a linear transformation is really multiplication by a matrix, you can think of it that way because that makes them the same. Uh, not only that, but uh, if a, uh, a linear transformation can be expressed this way as a matrix times, that then satisfies the condition that it is indeed a linear transformation. So you don't even have to check it through the additive and multiplicative properties.